you see god has set the world in such a way that all men be blessed and this will upset the theology of some people who say god cannot bless unbelievers who said so who said so who said so dan gote who blessed dan gote is this satan satan has no blessing it is still god that blessed dan gote whether dan gote acknowledges him in christ or not the goodness of god is on everybody dan gote just discovered a few rules that makes this planet respond in productivity and has applied them and things are working while you are fasting and leaving everything to god dan gote found a way about getting this natural world to respond and he is applying those things and everything is responding there's no magic about it you are oh, you are praying father 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 even the thing you should do father god said let them have dominion not let us let them what god is saying is i have left the planet for you manage it by finding out how it works and when you find out how it works run the system it will respond you don't need prayer for it am i teaching here you don't need prayer for it believe me you don't need prayer for it if you run it well it will respond praise the lord we are still teaching prayer this is serious prayer now this is really prayer because lombano is an active word it's not a passive word so that already explains why some of you are not promoted it's not because you didn't pray it's because you have spiritualized something that you shouldn't have spiritualized god blesses everybody equally unbeliever non-believer when we go for interview they don't ask us are you a christian or muslim they ask for your credentials is that true exactly but everything in this natural world is equally distributed to all of us whether you are a christian or you're not a christian all of us have equal access to the blessings of this natural world see i hear you god gave to man god gave to man dominion which man man unbeliever yes believer yes native doctor inclusive man he didn't give the planet to christians he gave the planet to man because he's a good god that's why you see wicked people are prospering native doctors are prospering occultic people are everybody because god god loves everybody and he wants people to eat and live well see i hear he's not a one-sided god i'm sure i'm changing a lot of things in your mind right now he wants everybody to to live well he wants everybody to 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 experience his goodness in the earth say with me i am here to rule I am not here to be ruled i am here to rule and i will rule by knowledge exactly rule by knowledge praise god i say praise god the greek word for god setting there is the word berko b-e-r-c-h-o it means to do something permanently he has set the rain permanently he has set the sun permanently it just keeps falling now it is man that now sets the order of things it is man follow me carefully it is man that said let us have a segment called commerce and industry it is man that say let's establish an institution called agriculture it is man that say let's establish another institution called information all those are man-made system it is not god that say man set up that no it is part of the managerial skill of man to organize segments of productivity in society all that is man man's ideas it's not god because man has to manage the planet let's have a, a, a petroleum department since we have oil wells in the niger delta it's not every country that has petroleum department because not every country that has petrol or oil 
the government of nigeria have discovered that there are natural resources and honey every nation on the face of the earth has natural resources the earth is the lord's and the food so every nation there are food there's fullness in every nation except the people in that nation are brainless as dry as israel yet one of the richest nations in the world they went to a desert with their ingenuity somebody say no israel people are people of god shut up shut your mouth all of us are people of god all of us there's nothing different about the israeli that you don't have the same god is rich unto all there is no difference what are you talking about there's no difference see you know israeli is the, that that mindset is what is cheating you because you're thinking like that and as a man think it uh -huh. the israeli believe that anywhere we enter we rule that is their mindset and it's working for them so if a believer in christ will rise up also and believe that anywhere i enter the moment that mindset comes it it gets you in the go i feel like i'm talking here i prophesy over you today you will never be second position anywhere the israelites went to a desert went to a desert and turned it to wealth they don't have oil yet they control oil they don't have oil in israel it's a desert with all this fertile ground we still import food so you wonder why some nations are more richer than the others is the brain of the people inside that nation you didn't hear me you are not hearing me is the brain of the people inside that nation dubai rain falls one day a year one day every year rain falls one day some years two three years no rainfall in dubai so since they don't have rainfall they have created a way of having water in dubai they created a sea where ships can 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 go from dubai to other nations it is man-made men are using their brain look i prophesy over all of you hearing the sound of my voice you will be the inventors of africa your amen is standing on one leg you will be the inventors of africa i declare from a quiet bomb here you will be manufacturers you will be manufacturers you will be manufacturers it's from a quiet bomb we shall start exporting in this country we will start exporting from a quiet bomb exporting to other nations I'm teaching here please sit down what a blessing look at Luke chapter 6 verse 35 but love ye your enemies and do good and, and lend hoping for nothing again and your reward shall be great and you shall be the children of the highest for he is kind unto the thankful and to the evil even people that are not thankful to God God is kind to them how many of you have been told that if you pray you don't do thanks God will not give you next time you've been told that but, but this scripture has cancelled that ideology he said even people that are not thankful and people that are evil god is still kind to them even the unthankful ones because god 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 is a good god he's a good god and the only thing he wants you to do to mankind is good even when man rejected him he went after man died for man and has provided redemption for man what a god he's a good god praise the lord